watch it. In the meantime, have you heard this number? 11, 12, 13. It is a date that has attracted thousands of men and women to get married on that very WGN's day. WGN's Amy Rutledge is here with yeah. one couple who planned their wedding day on that date. And apparently it rolls right off the tongue there, 11, 12, 13. And he can never forget. No <laughs> excuses, <laughs> right? True. You'll be in a lot of trouble if he forgets there this day. Go. Bridal experts estimate when July 7, 2007 hit, there were 66,000 weddings on that one day. Now, granted, that special day was a Saturday, but it was one of the first times an iconic date saw such a surge in weddings. It is happening again next week. And brides, you better listen up. If you are planning on getting married in the next year, there's only one iconic date left on the calendar for the next century. She's seen him and she brought me over there and she introduced us. And that's it. Six years after their first date, and Melissa Dial and her boyfriend Scott are preparing to walk down the aisle. He's fun to be around, he's very comical. Outgoing. <laughs> Outgoing. Um, we just kind of basically click. She's become a better person because of him and just how they complete each other, you know. And I'm, I just can't be more happier. A special couple setting out to begin their lives together on an uncommon wedding day, but a very special date, 11, 12, 13. This year, 11, 12, 13, it falls on a Tuesday. Brides are still getting married on that day. A David's bridal survey this year shows more than 3,000 couples in America will tie the knot on the iconic day next week, up more than 760% from the same day last year when the company estimates only 371 weddings took place. The sequence of numbers, 11, 12, 13, you know, that rolls off people's tongues. It looks beautiful on an invitation. You know, it's easy to remember, so your significant other will never forget the date. <laughs> I like that little one. That's really pretty. For Melissa and Scott, it's also a day they hope brings good luck and maybe a little extra fortune as they say their I do's with friends and family in Las Vegas. That's why I like that day, too, so it's different and it's unique. So. Yeah. It's lucky. 11, 12, 13 is the second to last iconic date of the century. The last next year will fall on a Saturday, December 13th, or 12, 13, 14, which experts believe will be a record breaking date for weddings. Melissa's sister and maid of honor says they will make their vows last for decades if they keep one thing in mind. You have your good days and your bad days, but as long as you guys are working them together, you'll be fine. Let's set the day. Them. Best of luck. Yeah. Melissa, let me pass this on to you, Mark. You will love this. As a wedding gift to her husband, yes. Packers tickets. <gasps> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Maybe wait till next year, though, when Rogers comes back. Anyway, just a little tip. Yep, just had to throw that along. Yeah. All right, we're going to have to call Candace and let her know. Mm -hmm.